Hello everyone, it's Dash Dave here. Um, I am back for another video. I've just, uh, well, no, not just, probably about an hour ago, finished my um, live that I did um, on my YouTube channel. Um, and um, I, sorry, I've got Fabri-Tac stuck to my arm and it's taken a few layers of skin off with it, I think. Um, and I just thought, well, I'll kind of carry on with what I was doing because I was really enjoying what the process so I started making clusters um, that inspired me to do my live video but I'm never very happy with clusters because they always look a bit meh <laughs> messy for me, for me. Um, so then I moved on to this and this was inspired by something that Brian had done um, and then I to kind of take it you know my in my direction and so this is where this is where we are so I've been making ones with with fabric so that was the first incarnation and then that involved evolved into this and then this and so I thought well let's make some some other ones and um I'll put the video on and we can kind of like you know just craft chat do stuff etc so then I went downstairs to the basement where um my basically my other craft room <laughs> is my yeah the the overspill which is i my my basement is the same size as the footing of my house i don't live in a massive house we'll just point out um uh, but it's basically i'd say two-thirds full of crap stuff so uh yeah so i went downstairs and i've got loads of ribbon now this is like I, when i say loads of ribbon i mean that this is probably about a tenth of what i've got um because i used to do like you know lots of wrapping and that sort of thing and I always, whenever i give a gift i always wrap it in real ribbon um and so then you know you kind of like like anything when you buy something you um you go over the top you can't just have one or two rolls of ribbon you have to have 365 rolls of ribbon one for every day of the of the year and then that turns into 5000 rolls of ribbon so I've got every ribbon you can possibly can can think of um and I thought well what can I do with it so I've I went downstairs and I got a few I got a few bits and I cut a few bits off and they were the bits I thought oh I really want to do something with that and like well that one obviously didn't cut I didn't cut that off very well because that's massive um so yes I know it's not the end and am I worried no I'm not so um so I cut some bits off, and that was the bit that I'd already been using. And I just thought, oh, let's make some more and have a bit more of a a, a wider colour palette for when we're making. So sorry for the sorry for the noise, rustling. My name's not Russell. I'm just making a noise. So um, I just thought, let's do let's do something. I like this one. Um, it's a bit lethal this one because it's got wire right on the very edge of it and if you catch and it's also quite sharp on the edge and if you slice it pull it that way it gives you the worst um paper cuts um and i know because i've had had some so i'm going to take the wire out of this because i don't want the wire um let's just fold that up so that i don't jab myself with it I'm, i can't remember which side i've just taken it out of that side I think yeah that's that's the side with the wire in it so I just need to find the other end of this let's take this wire out massive concentration come on nope <laughs> that's not happening let's do that slice into a bit expose the wire there we go got it Because you've all got nails, isn't it, to be able to grab it with? Take that wire out. So, I use this one to start with as like kind of my base, and then I might put on this. I might put something. So, what I've done before is I've got the the ribbon at the back on some of them, then the ribbon on top on on others. I'm going to have the ribbon at the back on this one, and then put put some other things on top of it and I'll just have a look and see what, what I've got what I like the look of 
I mean, like when I say what I've got, it's not what I've got in its entirety. It's basically what's to hand. I like that with it. Um, what other things do I have around me? Oh, not the right colour, Dave. Completely wrong colour <laughs> choice. Um, ooh, more colours I need. I need more colours. Oh no, that's fine. I quite like that together. Right, I'm going to get I'm just going to tear this off. I'll use my my new tear ruler, my homemade tear ruler. Yes, I said I succumb to this. Um, other people seem to make them, um, and I've only made it because when there's two of us crafting, we only have one ruler between us. Sorry, I kind of paused because I thought. Is that my Alexa making a noise? And it is. Brian must have set a timer when he's cooking roast dinner tonight, today. So it's a good friend, isn't he? He comes round to my house and then cooks. <laughs> so it's. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that doesn't happen in most people's friendships. You know, they don't come round to your house and cook for you, do they? That you normally go round to the house and um, they cook, or they come to your house and you cook, but. In, in this house he comes around here and he cooks for me so that's what friends are for so i like those colors together so that's that side or then that's the other side they're equally fun i think i'm going to use the purple there because i haven't got anything in purple um so i'm going to do that and then i'll put something else over the top so i might have another do I have anything pinky, maybe? Or oh, don't don't seem to have anything there. Let's see what we've got. We've got, definitely got pink. No advertising for IKEA at all, are you? Um, oh, that's a beautiful colour, isn't it? No, don't keep it all out there. You are cutting bits off and then putting the rest back in the thing. So that's too wide. Is that too pink? I could always dull it down, couldn't I? Couldn't I? Oh, that's a very regal purple. I think I cut a bit of that off. Is that? Oh, I quite like that as well. Let's see which one I prefer. Undo this. this probably leave a horrible stain because it's been down in the basement for so long. But never mind. Yeah, it's left a mark on it. Never mind, we'll cut that bit off. So what do I want? Oh, I quite like the pink. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the pink. Pink to make the boys wink. That's what they used to say, isn't it? Um, well, when I say they used to say, I mean, I definitely know that my mum used to say that. That might be a bit long, though, Dave. Tear that bit off there. Right, I'm going to ink this edge with some ink that isn't clearly on here. There we go. That's better. Um, it might be just a bit white for me. The background's just too, you know, new looking. So what I might do is put a bit of this on it. So this is just antique linen. And just take the colour off it a bit. Yeah, that's better. Which pushes the, the white back a bit, so I'll do it all. I might not use all of this, but I'll do it all. There we go. had a moment there sorry I'm just checking had a moment where I thought am I actually recording this or am I talking to myself mm -hmm. and luckily I am recording this so that's good I'm gonna go down to here and I'll cut that bit off there uh, put that on there so I thought that I might have that in the middle. I've tried to do those a little bit off centre, but I quite like the way that that looks like that in the middle. Well, it's kind of in the middle, and then I think I'm going to have that on there. 
Now I think that pink might be a bit bright. Let's see what it looks like when you kind of put a bit of ooge on it. Ooge, you know what I mean. Um, distressing. Ooge, same thing. Uh, so yeah this is kind of like Brian just had started making clusters last night while we were crafting um, and I was finishing off my Janie B journal which I then I think that's what I was doing is that what I was doing uh -huh. yeah um, so Brian's here by the way um, and he'd done he'd been doing these and like I couldn't I didn't actually see what he was doing it was kind of just out the corner of the uh, my eye and like you know um because I was doing something else and then it was only this morning because he'd left them here when he went home that I saw them and thought oh I really like those they look great so then I tried to replicate what he'd done and it didn't look right great because then I got it all stuck in my head that it had to look you know it had to be placed in a certain way so then i started making my own thing and i think after it, you have to kind of do a few to kind of get a, a footing of where you are and what you like and what you what you're trying to accomplish and then i kind of um he'd done a few that looked like medals um well rosettes um and then i thought oh let me have a go and then i kind of progressed it from there because he'd used mostly paper um and then i started going oh i might use a bit of ribbon and so anyway just drying this off because well because i can um <laughs> just drying it off because it, it's um water-based and like it's a bit um it keeps coming off on your fingers so so i'm gonna put that on there I might have that. I want that off center a bit. Yeah, I will have that off center. So let's stick this to here. I'm going to use Fabri Tech because I'm obviously gluing it to fabric. Well, I'm going to use Fabri Tech if we can get it out because I left it after my last video with a, without the lid on. And oh, there we go. You see, this is what happens. It doesn't come out now. <laughs> See, I think. Get it out. Oh, don't press it too hard while you're taking the bit out at the end because it will just go splodge. Oh, there you go. It's coming out now. So don't leave the lid off. That's the answer. Sage advice. Yeah. <laughs> Brian says it's sage advice. I thought it was a payroll system. Uh, <laughs> sage. It is, yeah. It's also good advice. <laughs> yeah, it's also good advice, yeah, that's true. Especially when you're using Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what it's like in the US or Canada or even Australia, Fabri-Tac. Well, we use um, three in one. So, like, four, we can get two of these. Uh, so, that. So two of these are 180. So well, they're 118.56 mils or four fluid ounces um, for the for half the price of we can buy the big version, which is an eight fluid ounce um, three and uh, yeah Fabri-Tac. So it's obviously cheaper to buy three and one. Yeah, and it is the same. You know, I'm sure somebody will tell us different, but. Yeah. Essentially, which is exactly what it says on the I, tin in exactly the tin. I haven't found, for the kind of things that I use it for, I haven't found a difference. I mean, obviously, if you're using it for, you know, other things, I'm sure they, some bond, you know, I don't know what this actually bonds, what does this bond? It says, um, crystal clear, transparent, instant grab. Then it goes on to say it in... Spanish, I think. <laughs> well, I won't read that out because, like, I don't want to murder the, the Spanish language. I um, don't know what it says. It glues three. Oh, craft advanced. Um, uh, yeah, advanced craft glue. Okay, 
It doesn't say when it, it when it glues. I know where they are. Um, it's got his address on it though. So. Na, 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 na. Contains acetone. If swallowed, call a poison control center or doctor immediately. Do do not induce vomiting. If in eyes, rinse with water for at least fifteen minutes. Mm. I would. My my advice for some sage advice is don't put it in your eyes, um, or swallow it. So anyway, going back to what I was doing because I, it doesn't say on the thing what you can use it for, so I, I can't tell you what you can use it for. Um, but I'm sure. But yeah, I'm sure it's there's the there's three in one Fabri-Tech and Fabrifix, isn't there? Um, so I'm sure that they do different things, and perhaps only B can know that <laughs> what the difference is. But for what I use it for, I, don't, I haven't found a single bit of difference. It hasn't impeded my ability in any way, shape, or form. So, pop that down there. So that's what I'm going to do for that bit, and then let's make let's compose something. So I was thinking, I I was trying to make concentric sizes. I've only got one oval punch. And I was trying to cut them in my last video. I mean, I didn't do a bad job. They're not they're not fantastic, but I didn't do a bad job. So I thought, well, I do have concentric sizes in. Um, these things, round ones. So I thought, well, let's have a look and see what a round one looks like. Now, I've not made a round one, but there's always a first for everything, isn't there? What's this going to look like? I don't know if this will actually pinch, but... Oh, it does. So one of them... sure about the yellow. Uh, do I have any other colours here? Just bear with me, I've just got a pile of like things over this side. It's only a small pile comparative to... So maybe some of that. That's kind of got a few of those colours in it. Next size circle. No, that's what you're looking for. I'm thinking... I could do with the one in between sizes. Oh, there's another punch I can get. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, I need one the the next size. I've got some circle dies, like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning, never spinning wheel. Every time I say about circle dies, that's what comes goes into my creeps into my head. Is it that one or is it that one? No, that's that one. So it must be that one. Oh, they're just tied together with a elastic band. Pick the elastic band, take that off. I can't just hang them up now because I've got somewhere to hang them. Because my new pegboard is amazing that Brian kindly fitted for me. Um, can I have the sidekick? Brian. I'm just gonna cut these cut the, cut a piece out that'll go in the sidekick. Is there any other paper over there that's got like a purple or a pink or a blue in it? Oh I don't know. Oh no. Mm. Pass me that other one. Can I use some of that? Maybe that. <gasps> Oh, I quite like that. Yeah. Right, okay. That's beautiful. Whose is this? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whose digikit is it? <laughs> it's not a digikit. Oh, right, it's not a digikit. Okay, fine. It's where I just that one night um, googling. Victorian right. wallpaper, I think, was the Google. All right, cool. It's beautiful. 
think I'm going to have that piece there. Well, it might, it'll probably move by the time I put it through this. It, it will have moved now because I've just literally just held it upright. <laughs> Through there, go back. I love this sidekick. I really, really want a. I think the. What is it? The. Um. Oh, the cuttle bug is like a bigger version. It's like an A5 size version of this. I just want a little die cutter that can, like, you know, do a, up to A5 size because they don't work really much bigger than an A5 size, but. You know, is isn't electric or anything like that. It just I've got a big electric one, but I just don't like getting out. I just can't be bothered. Don't if you have to take that out. So. so that's what I really want. But tell me what you want, what you really really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really really want. I wanna I wanna I wanna a Sizzix sidekick sidekick. No. Um shut up Dave. Oh, you see, it's bigger, but it's not big enough. Oh, I'm going to have to try the next size up. With a... I'm going to end up cutting it down, aren't I? <laughs> um, oh, there you go. Sorry, I was just looking for this. Have I got a piece big enough now? Yeah, I have. Oh well, I'll use it in some capacity. Try again. Because this is just so useful. Look how useful it is without being getting in the way and being annoying and like having to clear the decks. You know when like you put them in and you have to like take them out and it takes up so much space. And those big shots, I don't like the the big shot. The the Big shot has basically got a platform either side, and they just take up so much space. I don't have a lot of space. I want something that folds up, and that's what I want. It. That's why I like the um the whatever I've just said it was called cuttlebug. That's it. I always think cuttlefish, and I think that's <laughs> no, Dave. That's not it. The same thing. Cuttle, though. It starts with cuttle. It's not a cattle bug, which I'm sure is a disease that, that cows get. <laughs> Put that over there. So, now, th I, this is going to be too big, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly the same size as that. That's annoying, isn't it? So, how do I get... Oh, like find something to draw red and actually cut it with my own my own precious little yep. hands yep. <laughs> little I say little you know little on the grand scale 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 skills horrible thing a thing yep, yep. Uh, or I could go really technical and actually use a compass probably for the first time since I left school <laughs> let's see what happens using a compass I like to try all of these new things live you know <laughs> I don't put myself under enough pressure live from Batley <laughs> live from Batley Right, I'm going to go for that being somewhere near the middle. It doesn't have to be the middle. It just has to be somewhere near the middle. There's two marks there now. Oh, there. And I, oh. Well, that didn't stay like that, did it? So about, I want it to be about that sort of size. Maybe a bit smaller like that. So put that there, put that on there, and do this. And in theory, it will stay like in the right place. I have done used a, a I remember, sorry, no, I remember using compasses that when you 
drew a circle and you got right it didn't meet up because the thing had got bigger so oh that's probably a good way to do it dave just do that okay and now i'm going to cut it without the aid of a safety net i need a drum roll I think my drum roll was better than yours. <laughs> Mine wasn't great, but like yours was terrible. I was trying to show you how I was concentrating. Were you very musical? Was I very musical? Yeah. God no. All right. They took the record off me because I couldn't do it properly. <laughs> Didn't play anything else then. Three blind mice. It hurt their ears. <laughs> Does anybody else? I mean, like, I don't know whether this was just something that they tortured children in um, UK schools with, but having to play Three Blind Mice on the recorder. <laughs> and and why is the recorder not a thing? You know, like, you don't like... I think it was like the measure of if you could do Three Blind Mice on the recorder, then you could move on to... Twinkle, twinkle, little other, star. Other <laughs> instruments. If not, then... Then you went down to the triangle. Well, I don't remember doing very... <laughs> yes, went down to the triangle. Yes, the child the child at school that had to play the triangle was like, oh, bless. I've got the triangle. <laughs> yeah, well, I, 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 don't, I, can't, I can't say that I was any good at the recorder, but I, I did go on to play a... Violin, okay. sorry, <laughs> but you must I'm... have been brilliant. Then. <laughs> you must have done three blind mice like a maestro. <laughs> Trust me, I'm sure it, I wasn't any good at. <laughs> oh dear, I remember playing, having to play. Three blind mice. Good fingering, but he can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's doing something else. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's good, but I'm. <laughs> He's turned purple whilst playing it. Yeah, I, I, why is you? Oh, I'm using the wrong scissors. I wondered why I wasn't getting a great, great edge. Um, why are why do you not hear of professional recorder players like you? You know, like you do all the other instruments. Because is it just the the only time that you use a recorder is at school? It's just that test instrument. And I don't know whether they're called recorders you know in like national like internationally or whether that's what we call them but they're like a long plastic like it's like a very basic fluty type thing isn't it with holes in it and like they're usually made out of no, that horrible that flute, oh yeah no yeah because it's not you, you don't do it to one side you do it these stick, it's like what where's that thing i've just been cutting out have i lost that Yes, it's gone on the floor. Like a bassoon? I don't know what a bassoon is. Like a bassoon? Yeah, I don't know what a buffoon is. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, recorder. If you don't know, look it up. Because um, you don't want me explaining anything to you, really. So, But yeah, I'm, they're always really screechy. And I don't actually know many children that can play them, so... But yes, I then went on to a violin, which was also quite screechy. I didn't like playing the violin. I just, you just weren't cool if you had a violin. And I always wanted to be cool. <laughs> you need to have a machine gun in your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like if you played the guitar, you were cool. Or if you played the saxophone, you were cool. Or, you know, you were, you were mediocre if you played like, you know, the... What what are the what are the other things? Um, the other things in an instrument, <laughs> in an instrument. I mean, in an orchestra. Um, the other instruments in an orchestra. That's what I was trying to get out. Anyway, if you're, if you can play something other than the violin. I mean, like you know, in later life, I don't think you. I don't think anybody that I know that can play the violin. 
not that I know anybody, but like you know, any famous person, I think like, any of them are cool, but you, you know, you could have made a fortune out of it if I'd been like Hoody, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Not Houdini. Um, Yehudi Menuhin. Yes, that's it. Houdi, what's his name? <laughs> I'm sure he remembers you from yeah. That Flynn fella. Yeah, him. Oh, not him again. Yehudi <laughs> Menuhin. Oh, funny. Funny, funny. Funny, funny bunny. Um, maybe this is going to be too thin to cut it. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that, Dave. Just let's find something else to put behind it first. That was very good rem memory recall skills there, Brian. You hoody menu, and you got that from me going, hoody, what's his name? I don't even know who... What's his name now? <laughs> Memory of a goldfish. What? Who are we? Where are we? What are we? What are we talking about? Yehudi Menuhin. I don't even know what he looks like. I couldn't pick him out from a lineup. So, I, well, hopefully he'll never be in a lineup to have him picked out of. Um, I, and I don't even know whether he's still alive. So, um, that's a good conversation, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're glad you tuned in now, aren't you? Um, so, who else played? What was the, what was his name that played the violin? That was always a bit geeky and and he was quite. He thought he was cool when we were younger. Nigel, somebody, no? Oh, um, Nigel, not Farage. Nigel Kennedy. Nigel Kennedy, yeah, that sounds like that rings a bell. Well, it doesn't ring a bell; it plays a string actually. So, um. <laughs> does it have to ring a bell? <laughs> no, exactly. It doesn't. It, he doesn't have to ring the bell or the or clink the triangle. <laughs> oh dear! When you <laughs> he obviously passed music. Yes, <laughs> he obviously did. Uh, he was considered gifted, whereas I was considered keep the receipt and take the gift back. Um, <laughs> uh, dear, yeah. So can't can't play an instrument for Toffee. I would really love to have been able to play the saxophone, or I'd like to have been able to play. Um, what's the other thing that you can that, that that's the other thing. Piano, that's it. Nothing like nothing like a saxophone. <laughs> but I would have loved to have been able to play the piano. I still quite to learn like still quite to learn. I still quite like, try and put some like <laughs> some syllables into your <laughs> sentences, Dave. I'd still quite like to learn the piano, but I really don't think I've got the fingers for it. Apparently you're supposed to have fingers like E T to be able to play the piano. My grandma, now I didn't know this until recently, but my grandma used to be, used to entertain um, the street during like, you know, um, I'm not going to say lockdown, but like the Blitz. The Blitz. Yeah, she used to e entertain the street and she used to be fantastic on the piano and like, I didn't know that. That's something I have recently learned. So maybe I should follow in her footsteps. Never too late to learn new things. No, it's not. You can you can turn your life around. Turn around. Every now and then I fall apart. And I need you now tonight. I don't know why I'm singing dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> the dolphins love to. Don't blame us. Um, we, we we know nothing. <laughs> Stop singing! <laughs> You're hurting our ears. Um, I can't do high pitched singing. 
so um i was oh no i was trying to sing along to what's the what's the oh, <laughs> rubbish today i can't words don't know don't come easy to me i'd sing that a lot because the words don't come easy to me um what's the the abba song Oh dear. About the war. About the war? No, for what? I thought you said about the war. I was like, no. <laughs> Nothing to do with the war. <laughs> um about I bet that won't do that. No, I won't. Um Oh the visitor. The visitors. The visitor. The visitor? The visitors? The visitor. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know that song. You know what I mean, don't you? You do know what I mean, Brian. You know which song I mean, don't you? I know the song. Yeah, cool. That's fine. I was listening to that the other night and trying to sing along to that, and that was terrible. Murdered the whole thing. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to find. I want to have um something that I don't have. So I'm just going to reach across here and hopefully be able to reach maybe this, maybe that, although it's completely off the colour palette, but like... It's not horrible, but it's not great either, so I won't use that. I had some bits of fabric is what I was looking for and they're up here bits of fabric there's actually a box for them so that's what I was trying to find this because I thought there might be something in here that would go oh maybe a bit of that keep that out or I was looking for something I could fray I'm afraid um no Completely wrong colour palette. Completely wrong. Stop it. Stop and desist. Put it down. Step away. What's that? It's a lead. Well, it's an old dog's lead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's let's go with that. Take that lid off there. I thought maybe if I stuck this, where where's she gone? It's there. Yeah. I stuck that behind, and then kind of frayed it. Yeah, we're going to do that. In fact, do I want a bit with a bit of yellow in it? Because it just adds a little, a little something. A little mm, something. So, we're doing it anyway. Uh, yeah, I think like that. Right, cut that bit off there. Cut that bit off there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around. I might leave that flower on there. I'll see. I'll see what happens. Well, I don't I'm I i do not use that. I don't cut fabric very often, so um I don't know what the end result will be. I can predict what will happen with paper, I can't predict what will happen with um fabric. So so I'll glue it down first because otherwise oh it won't stay in the same place. You can. I don't know why you're whispering. <laughs> oh, just that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Brian's just asked, can I have that? Um, I thought he was taking the both of them. I didn't think he was going to give me one back. Anyway. Let's cut this. Maybe leave that flower on too. And then just kind of cut around a bit. And I might fray this. So I'm going to go around there. I'm not going to try and cut around the actual flower and like all the undulations of it. I'm just going to do my thing. Do my thing. And then go around here. 
don't have to worry about how well this oval is oval, which is a good job really because it isn't. And then fray it a bit. Don't want to fray it so you can't see what the flower was, but I want to fray the edges a bit. Okay. Prime's going to check on the food. I can smell it. Roast chicken. Mom, 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 mom. So leave that out a little. I've covered the bin up again with all the the stuff that I keep resting on the edge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just knock the colour back of the white on that fabric. Make it a look, look a little bit more like it's been around a while. Perhaps I should have done that before I stuck it down, but never mind. There we go. And I think I'm going to stick her there. Where shall I stick her? Where shall I stick her? I put a I quite like it actually in the oval rather than off to one side, although that looks quite nice. I think I'm going to do that. So, completely gone off piece now, haven't I? So, pop her there. She looks very, um, focused right i think the only thing is i think that needs to, there needs to be a bigger circle in the background so here we go let's get these dyes out of the way this this is definitely bigger right let's have a look does it need to be that big or does it need to be that big now i don't think it can be this big because i don't think that'll go through my die cutting machine no <laughs> Can't be that big then, Dave. Does this one go through? Just right. It's going to be this big, whether we like it or not. Now, what do I want in the background? I want something. I need something, maybe a, something with a bit of pink and yellow in it, and then that will kind of pull the two bits together. Not the schnorr bits, the two bits. It's got a bit of green in this as well. Is that too? Although that's got a bit of green in. That's not too bad. It's not horrible. It always makes me laugh when people say it's not horrible. You clearly don't like it. <laughs> it's not horrible. No, it's not horrible, but you don't like it, so why are you using it? So, Although I could be asking myself the same thing. Anyway, cheer up, Dave. Get on with it. Um, I am. Just, just having a, a rummage. Just having a look. See what else? Oh no, that's completely wrong. Christmas paper. I don't think that's right. Okay. I think if we make that a bit less garish, that'll be fine. It's tight, tight, tight. Right. Okay, Dave. You're gonna have to. Oh no. Let's use the, this as the guide. Put that down there, and cut this edge off, and then I know it will fit through my die cutting machine because it's the same size as the mat. I'm very noisy today, throwing things around, clattering. That, uh, that, there. Where's the other oh, test? Put that on there, and then. Really am itchy where that where I've got Fabri-Tac on me. I guess it's oh well, it's got acetone in it, so it's not it's not going to be good for you, is it? Didn't say anything about what to do if you got it on your skin. I mean, I, it's I've never hurt me on my hands, but my delicate little pink flesh on my arm. Although I've gone brown. I was going to look in the mirror that used to be up there, but it isn't there anymore. Um, so I won't. Um, I'm, I have gone a little bit brown. I've been sitting out, uh, you know, maybe just an hour or two. Well, no, just an hour, not even two. Um, every evening when I've come home from work, 
left out in the sunshine because it's been nice and I have um, picked up a bit of a tan not not a you know burnt to a crisp and all my skin peeling off um, type tan but a, a you know a nice tan a say something tan <laughs> no it's not a say something tan day I was thinking say something hat day a nice tan just some just a little bit of a tan I don't know I've talked about some waffle don't I oh I like that I like that that's nice I've just realized I picked up the pink in her shirt so yeah I like that do I I can't tell which way up it is, so it doesn't matter. So I'll just glue it down. Glue, sorry. <laughs> Take it takes me a moment sometimes to register what glue. What does that look like? So just seem to be using Fabra Fix for everything at the minute. Fabra Tag, Fabra Fix, Fab three in one. Just established it was three in one, didn't we? Gluey down, gluey glue, gluey glue. There isn't a song about gluey glue, that's for sure. Oh, I like that. I think it needs a little element of something else. But let's stick it down because. Sorry for the noises made by the glue. It, it was the glue, it wasn't me. Put that on there. And then I think we're going to have a word on there. Don't get that. I do like I'm on the black. I think the black stands out better, especially for this I'm doing. So, but the uh, I don't know what what to say. It needs, just want it to be something. I could do like I did with this one and put it on the on a background. Um, together thought um, through through time um, right over Uh, is that one? Yeah. Sorry, I just touched my mic. So if it just went clunk, I apologise. Um, creative, create, creative again. Friendship art. I thought it said hostile. It doesn't say. It doesn't even say any of any of those things. I saw hopeful and inspiring. Saw hostile somehow for some reason. <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> um, it's, oh, is there creativity? Have we got creative? Well, 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 well. Oh, they're alphabetical, Dave, so like, they might be on this page. Oh, no. Um, they're not alphabetical. Oh, they are. Are they? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Good job. Um, or oh, maybe those two. Have we got creativity? I would have liked creativity, but if we don't have creativity, we'll go with something completely different. There's creative. There's creative. Yeah, there's no creative at T. So we're going to go with sprinkle inspiration. I was going to do sprinkle um, creativity, but we're doing sprinkle inspiration instead. Do I want to stick it to something? Not the right colour, Dave. Not the right colour, Dave. None of those are the right colour, Dave. Dave. Right, Dave. 
Um, nope, none of those. I wanted something in a dark blue. Do you have anything in a dark blue? A dark blue? What? Life? What real life? No life! Sorry. <laughs> I've dropped my sprinkle as well now. Where has that gone? Is there? I think I might I might try it. I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm going to give it a go though. I'm going to snip a bit of that off. And we're going to give it a go. So I was going to... I was thinking is if I put it on here... I'm going to need to glue it down. I realise that. Well, I do. I realised it. I didn't do it. But I realised it. Glue that to there. And then, I don't know why it's up that high, but I'm going to glue this bit to here. And then cut round it. And what I was thinking is I've kind of frayed it a little. So I'll take the edge off this. Take that off there. And that off there sorry concentrating kind of quiet Wuss is about to growl out the window at somebody I think as well I can hear him going Burr! like he's warming up yep I think that, that's going to be the way well I hope it's going to look the way I I wanted to. It's gone lighter as well. Of course, I didn't really. Well, I didn't plan for that. It's gone lighter on the edges. This is the warp and the weft, isn't it? And because my glue, my glue, no, because my fingers are so gluey, they're all. It's all stuck to me. No, nope, Ben. And then do the same for. Get off me. There's going to be bits of that all over me now. Oh, what's up, Worcester? What's up? Me? Mm. <laughs> Sorry if I've just deafened you with kissing, but I was kissing Worcester. So. Oh, wah, wah. What? Oh. You're tap dancing. You don't want that bit of fluff. Don't lick that. Are they upsetting you, Worcester? They're walking past the window. How dare they? I'm sorry, but, you know, people, you shouldn't... As far as Worcester's concerned, you shouldn't exist. Because uh, you upset his nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only when you walk past his window. So if you're not walking past our window, you're all right. So you can exist. You're allowed to. Well, it, I... He doesn't care whether you exist or not, to be fair, just as long as you're not upsetting him. Yeah, that'll do. No, it's supposed to be sprinkle inspiration, Dave, not inspiration sprinkle. <laughs> That's like Operation Snowstorm. Um, I think we'll stick that on first. And this will also stop it, because it'll be glued down, it'll stop it from um, fraying anymore. Maybe next time I might use different colour ribbon. It doesn't stand out as much as I thought it was going to. But I'll still like it, so I'm going to go on like that. There we go, and then let's cut the bottom. Oh, a bit shorter, maybe. Up to there. Go to there. There we go. So that's another one done. Well, it's, it's another one done, but it's only one in in this hour. Has it, has it been an hour yet? Yeah, I don't know. How long have I been going for, Brian? No idea. <laughs> I think it was about quarter past when I started. Um... 
I will I might just start another one. I'm not necessarily going to get it finished, but I might start another one. I got this out because I thought this line it looks German, um, but I thought it looked like a, a metal type ribbon. But I just wanted to find something for it to go on. Oh, I that's what I've got. I've got that ha out, haven't I? That I liked. I liked that on there. Yeah, so I'm going to do that one. And hopefully the composition of this one will come together very quickly. <laughs> no guarantees. But I might fray this at the bottom first. And cut it off. Ow, stab myself with the scissors. Ouchie malouchy. Do that. Might fray the end of this one as well. Let's cut that off straight first. And then see if I can get this to fray. Oh, that's very, very thin. I don't even know. It's like the, the Emperor's New Clothes because I can't actually see whether I'm pu pulling it or not. Oh, it's, I. I, I did, it wasn't actually coming out, so. <laughs> there you go. I guess what you people know what I mean by the Emperor's New Clones. It's a, was it a, was it an, 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 an Anne Christian Anderson? No, Hans Christian Anderson. Was it? I don't know if it's them or a or Grim. A grim it's one of those. Oops, grim Up North, whatever. It's one of those. I can't get this to fray. I've, I've got it like tiny bit of fraying on going on at the end, but like that's that's it. I could do with all oh, there you go. Could do with something to pull it out with. Without cutting it though. Don't try and cut it. Aha! That's frying it better. Let's give it a haircut. It's got its locked down hair. Mm -hmm. So put that on the bottom of there. <gasps> like it. Like it. Like it a lot. If I just put a, a, a touch on that edge, it'll stop it frying. Worcester's singing to people as they walk past the window now. As it's going, brr, brr, <laughs> He's a funny boy. He's a funny boy. He's a bit like his dad, or he's a bit of a funny boy. That's so itchy. <laughs> Right, that on there. Okay, right. Let's get this show on the road. Let's hit the ground running. Let's do it. Let's just do it, Dave. Do it. <laughs> right, I am going to do this, and I want it to be bigger. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do... I'm going to do it perhaps another round one. Is this wide enough for this? No. Don't do that then. That's the wrong colour. Maybe another one with that on. What was that? Or that. Was that? Is that? No, not the right colour either. That? It's got similar colours in it. Oh, sorry for Worcester barking. Somebody's really upset him now. T far too close. Proximity alert has gone off. So. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Worcester? What? Yes, I know. But it's, you know, you have to let people... You have to let people go about their business. Don't lick that bit of fabric that I've just dropped on the floor. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I've just picked that up with my 
my uh, toes that Brian laughs at the fact that I can pick things up with <laughs> with, your monkey toes. with my monkey toes. <laughs> Um, shh, here's what I'm saying, Worcester. Where's that going to go? I don't know, it looks quite regal, but I don't know where it goes. What do you reckon? No. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we're, we're going with it because Brian said so and I, I didn't do anything else now. <laughs> don't mean that. <laughs> don't care what he says but like <laughs> he likes it so we're going with it I think it might tie in with that one as well the other one that I've got out that fruit one okay so I'll just cut that down so that I can get this into the chopper the chopper no here comes the chopper to chop off your head chip chop chip chop um What's that from? Is that London Bridge is falling down? No, that's not. No. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. That's not how it goes either. <laughs> the tune's wrong. The words are all right, but the tune's wrong. The notes are all all right, but they're just in the wrong place. <laughs> I don't know whether I can do that, Brian. <laughs> Heartbreak in this city, but I keep on loving you, you, you. I've got my mind made up. Call me on the telephone. I need your love. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's just that. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh dear, my. I, Everything I do is just so unpredictable. <laughs> My brain is so unpredictable. I want that bit. I want the bit with the the fruit in it. Mm, what are you gonna say? Just trying to compose this. There we go. And then I've also got that maybe another project because it probably won't go with this oh dear that didn't cut it very well did it cut that bit off yeah you'll ever know well with my cutting they probably will do but there you go doesn't it's not enough contrast i need something else i might have a little bit of shall i have a bit of book page or shall i have another bit of fabric should i do some more fabric shall i have fabric i don't know shall i have fabric should i should i do i what hey Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can really. I've just got a waft of chicken. I can really smell chicken now. Oh, cool. Maybe that. Is that no? It's too, not. I'm trying to give contrast, Dave, not blend it in. That. Oh, that's really nice. But again, that's not going to give it any contrast. Yellow. Maybe the yellow. Maybe some of that yellow behind it. Yeah, I'm going to go with that yellow. Again, I'm going to stick it down. Oh, is the yellow? Mm, don't know. No, no, not the yellow. It needs to be darker. Black, like my heart. <laughs> um, blue, completely off the colour palette, but it does pick up that same colour. Oh, it picks up that colour out of there. It's got it's got that colour in the background, so I quite like that. I'm going to go with that. Sorry, folks, probably shouting at me again. Don't do it. But I'm doing it. It's happening. It's got enough contrast as well. Yep. Right, I'm going to stick it down. Go and get 
Ouch. Stick it completely down. I'm trying to do a bit of speed crafting now, so dinner will be ready soon, so can't play out for much longer because like the dinner's nearly ready. Playing out. Oh I look used to love playing out. Kids don't play out anymore, so you know, making mud pies and dens and playing on your um did you, did you have a go-kart? I had a go-kart. Yeah. I, yes, I didn't I didn't well, buy one. Bought. Sorry? <laughs> no, I didn't have it bought. I'm my mom's sister made one out of a it was a I think it was a pram base yeah. and um it's probably a bit big, Dave, to be fair. You probably cut that far too big. Um pram base and I don't know what the wood was it I think it was just some a plank of wood I think um it was lethal it didn't have any brakes so well you had the pram brake but like that really did not suffice <laughs> when you're going down a really steep hill so yeah it's funny because, like, I mean, I'm sure I've said, I told you this before, but I lived in Coventry, and Coventry's quite flat. The Midlands um, in the UK is a quite a flat area, but we had this hill that we called Breakneck Hill because it was so steep. And trust me, having moved to to Yorkshire, it was nothing. It was a <laughs> it was a slope. <laughs> But as a child, it looked so like <gasps> perilous, like you know, like dangerous, and like you were gonna, people were gonna like there were rumours, you know, when you were a child of like people having died and lost their lives, and like and it was honestly, it's nothing. It was, it was, it's uh, like I've I've seen people's driveways around here that are steeper. <laughs> And longer. I mean, it it wasn't a very long hill either. It was probably about, I don't know, 200 yards, if that. So, <laughs> but there was, it, it was one of those, it was of its time. Oh, sorry, I've got bits of fluff all over my face now. Um, it was of its time, so having grown up in the 70s, um, the, the street furniture at the time, so they were like hard concrete bollards at the bottom of it um like domes and we used to get and then in the middle of the two concrete bollards there was the the um street light so it was just like <laughs> just, it was just designed for disaster basically so we used to go right the way down the top and then you know the the game was to try and avoid smashing into the bollards or the lamppost um but you, you had no steering are you supposed to avoid doing that so a few times that i know that my sister like used to be interrogated when she got home how did she get like that cut or that bruise or that i don't think she ever broke anything me she broke several times right? guinea pig I used, because i was younger i used to be the guinea pig so, <laughs> so does this work let's get let's get david on it and see whether it works oh no doesn't no because he nearly died so <laughs> might need to do some improvements to that oh, i've got bits of fluff up my nose <laughs> so anyway the fun as it were She's a bit boring. I don't want her on it. Sorry, no offence, love. Offence taken. Um, <laughs> where have you got any more of them? No. Where are they? Oh, they're there. They're here. It's all right. Found them. She would have been fine. Put well, no, she's blue. She's not fine actually. She'd have been good, but I know she's orange, but it kind of tonally goes. Um, but she's not in a. She's not in an oval. 
I could make a Renault for one, uh, but I bet I couldn't. Don't even try, Dave. Um, I don't know. Maybe her. Oh, I've used her on the last one. Maybe her. Has she been used? No. Okay, so maybe her. Or them. An honor, an honorary medal for ballet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do. Let's cut this one out. Wow, I'm, I've never cut an oval this quick. Hence the reason why I've gone quiet because I am trying to concentrate. not a multitasker i can't well i am i can breathe and still cut at the same time so it's a multitasker in my books um i always have to make it that bit more complicated so i'm going to cut those bits off the edge Knock it off there. And then I'm going to put those onto there. Should I make it a bit darker? No, no, I like it like it is. And then glue this. Put this on the back. Oh, he's grumbling again at something. Put someone, something. No, it's not. He doesn't grumble at people. He grumbles at other animals mainly dogs <laughs> yes in his territory well not even his territory is anybody's territory but like he thinks it's his so he's marked it with his way so it's his so i'm going to cut around here and just do the si a similar sort of thing as i did on the other bit i'm not worried about how i'm cutting this time because once you've frayed it, you can't really tell, so. And then fray it out a bit. Can I get it to fray out? Is it fraying? Yep, that's better. That's fraying better. That is too. That side as well. This, I'm going to be, like, covered in fronds of... Um, ribbon but you know it's all for my art uh, the sacrifices we make as artists <laughs> the suffering artist there we go right I'm just going to oh that's not very good that bit there Hopefully it's all stuck in enough to kind of stay right there. Get rid of that. Oh, it's all stuck to me. Did say it was all it'd all be stuck to me. Just gonna cut some of this off so it's not too wild and hairy. Put that on there. Oh, I like this. Like it a lot. Take that bit. Take that bit off there is what I was going to say. Get rid of that because that's black. I don't know where that's come from. Should I put that on there? Or should I put it on that? No, put it on like that. And then I'm going to stick this to here and then we're going to find a word that we like. Put this on here. Yep, just like that. And now I think what I want to do is just need to put a word on it. I've got very hairy fingers now. Um, hairy fingers, is that not a first sign of madness? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's true. Worse walls are furry on the inside. Um, I need to have a Anita. I need to have. What's your name, Anita? Uh, maybe a white one this time, because we've got black on the thing. Um, altered understanding. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I quite like altered understanding. We're going with that. Well, we are if we can find it again. No, alter. Oh, it says alter understanding. No, I don't want alter. I want altered. Well, you could put alter ed. Mm. Okay, what am I sticking it to? Anybody know? Anybody care? Anybody saw that? Maybe something yellow, because we've got yellow in the thing. Something yellow, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Um, something, just stick it to something, Dave. No, we're going to go with yellow, I think. So, I'm just going to stick it to here, and then I'm going to alter. Cut that bit off the end. There's the ED, there it is. like it like that you know altered I can't remember what I was going to say altered what did I just say out loud <laughs> altered images no that's a <laughs> the band um, altered understanding was it altered understanding or altered imagination Altered forever. Oh no, forever more. <laughs> altered understanding. We'll go with altered understanding. So altered. Uh, should we do it as a one? Let's move this up. Let's move that to there. We're going to put that on the end, aren't we, like that? And there we go, altered understanding. Can we do that like that? Yeah, that'll do. I'm not cutting it out there. You're going to rip it out. not easy to rip this vellum but never mind it's not, well it's not it's not that it's hard it's just that it doesn't go where you want it to unless you've got your nail in the way I guess it's because it doesn't have a, a grain direction like a lot of paper does but that's what I like about it it's, it's organic Stop saying it, Dave. Okay. It's all going up. Altered understanding. Yes, I like that very much. Just going to ink that edge because I don't like the edge. Just make sure it's quite inky. I like the... It's not very inky. I like, it, I like a nice dark edged when I'm inking. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. Aye. Aye, that's better. Mm. Well, I 
go. That's done. Done that, done that, done that. Move that out the way. Do that, do that. Put that on there and do it. It'll just stop singing down. Oh, hello. It nearly got stuck wherever it fancied. Altered understanding. Yeah, I like it. And I like it very much. Very, very much, Lee. So, let's try and put some of this away. Try. Succeed, maybe. Ugh. Well, there's an E for effort. <laughs> yeah, I tried to put stuff away. It's kind of gone out of the way. It's out, it's out of the way rather than our way. <laughs> Right, let's just move some of this out of the way so you can see what we're doing, what we've done even. Get rid of these, these bits. I'm not going to get rid of them because I'll probably make some more of these, as I have found a new niche. New yeah, <laughs> new things to make. So uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm a prolific maker, so I'll probably make 10,000 of these things now. So and so this is the one that I've made just now. This is So these were the three that I'd got, that I'd done earlier. Here's three I made earlier. Um, those are the ones I made earlier, and then these are the ones. So that's the first one that I made. There we go. And then that's the next one I made. That's the one I've just made now. There we go. Cool. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll just make sure that um, everything is still running. Apparently I've got 20% battery left, so that's good. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope you're going to give it a go and make something. Um, I mean, like you can make, uh, these are quite grungy, but I like the grunginess of this. Um, but you could, you know, make it however you like and you can make it, you could make a very you know, clean version of this. I'm not suggesting this is not clean, um, but it's less grungy. Um, so, yeah, go and have a play. Uh, you know, I didn't really have a direction to go in today, um, and you can probably tell. But it's organic crafting. So, anyway, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. Um, you all have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is. If you really like this video, please consider sharing it and, um, you know, liking it if you haven't already, because um, the liking actually helps. Um, comment. Um, I really do love your comments, and anybody that's ever commented on my video will know that I always reply to you. Not always, like, instantly, but I always reply. Um, and um, I love my my loyal followers you know who you are um i love you to bits um and it's great to have you but you know it's great to have new people as well and uh once i, I mean like i can't believe that i've got to i think i'm on 361 subscribers now that's amazing so um and i will be having a giveaway when i get to 500 so um i will be giving away some of the stuff that i've made so I'll have to have a lorry load at this rate because of the amount of stuff I'm paying. No, I'm, I'm not giving it all away. Just, you know, maybe a couple of items. So, Anyway, uh, you all have a lovely afternoon, evening or morning um, or whatever time it is that you're watching this. Um, I will see you very soon in the next video. And um, I will love you and leave you until then. And as I say, um, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. All right, folks, you have a lovely afternoon. Take care. Bye for now. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of kisses. And a big hug. Right, take care, folks. Bye.